Paw Patrol Adventure City Calls is a 3D platformer video game loosely based on the fantastic Paw Patrol movie. The game features eight levels where you hop and bark your way through Adventure City, untangling a light-hearted mystery to solve a series of dastardly disasters. I'll come out and say it right away. It's not great. Starting at the presentation, there's plenty of clipping and other graphical issues, even though the game employs a fixed camera, which is generally used to avoid these problems. The animations are lazy, bog standard, or even below standard in many circumstances, providing little satisfaction to watching the puppies move about or hop around. It's also a very poor adaptation of the film it's based upon. Paw Patrol The Movie was a surprisingly poignant and wholesome tale about true courage and overcoming self-doubt to realize your potential. It had character development, light social commentary, and a genuine purpose. But Adventure City Calls doesn't. Chase doesn't go through any development, and the cutscenes have no dialogue worth thinking about. At least it shares that in common with the show. The lack of cohesive or meaningful writing, and the poor presentation, even team up on a few occasions to make the game feel extra super ultra shallow. For example, Ryder will tell you that a particular area of the city is a mess, or that some damage has been done. Buildings on fire, for example. But no matter what disaster is supposedly befalling the fair citizens, everything always looks squeaky clean, straightforward, and unbroken. Sterile. It's an incredibly stark example of ludonarrative dissonance. The actual time you spend resolving these ostensible disasters is equally surreal. Most of the gameplay is hopping around the cityscape collecting pup treats. You collect so many, in fact, often 1,000 per level, that it feels like the game's core pillar of design. Everything is about these pup treats. It's a shame, then, that collecting them comes with its own share of issues. The levels aren't particularly large, but they're empty enough that the only items of interest are the pup treats, and it's impossible to backtrack to previous areas in a level without starting the whole thing again from the mission select. This means if you were to, say, miss one out of 1,000 pup treats, you have to slog through the bland streets from square one trying to nab that single missing collectible. But sometimes the game isn't so merciful. Sometimes that collectible you missed was located in one of the vehicle segments. These segments, which control like 3D runner games, aren't inherently awful, but they suffer from a technical issue that makes them infuriating. The entire purpose of these bits, much like the rest of the game, is to collect pup treats. But the pup treats suffer from terrible pop-in, meaning you have very little time to react if you want to collect them all. I'm an adult, and I found these sections nerve-wrackingly intense, which I don't think is the intended feeling one is meant to receive from Paw Patrol Adventure City Calls. If you miss one of those treats, you gotta start the whole boring level again. It's very high stakes. So, everything is pretty lackluster, to say the least. The game does try to provide you with rewards for all the pup treats at least, but they're just equally dull and empty. The unlockable rhythm minigame isn't even a rhythm minigame. You don't press the buttons to a beat, it's just an overlong QTE. This is why I was so blown away that the rhythm game in the G5 MLP game was an actual rhythm minigame. Most of the time, children's game developers just don't even bother. Please don't play Adventure City Calls. It doesn't understand what was special about the film it's based on, and its design is bland, unintuitive, and occasionally broken.